Um, introduce yourself. I know you guys, but we are in class, don't we? So we can introduce ourselves. So you can use the mic that is on your desk and just introduce yourself and tell us why you are part of this Bible school and the things that you want to accomplish when the time has come to an end. Good morning again, everyone. Um, my name is Shamoya Kurgodas. Um, the reason I am here at this Bible school is to um, develop spiritually and to um, take away my fear and to become more bold and confident to study the Word and to know more about Christ and the Word and also to um, allow God to use me more in the ministry and what I want to take away from is to just be more bold, more confident when it comes to God. Just a couple seconds to think about it. 
what is evangelism before we go to the course description. As Bishop said, this class is an interactive one, so the teachers will not be just standing here. You also will take part in it. So, Special Ma, you want to go first? Or you want to write it? All right, I'll give you a couple seconds just to write what you think is evangelism. Evangelism is 
very important. It is the spreading of the gospel, as we said before, of the good news to the sinners, bringing them unto Christ. Or we can say it is the spreading of the gospel by public preaching or personal witnessing unto sinners, bringing them unto Christ. We can only evangelize and pray. What can we only do? Why can we only evangelize and pray? Anybody have an idea? Why can we just evangelize? As in, we go to the sinners and we say, listen, God loves you. We tell them a scripture. We, we expound on the scripture and we pray for them. Don't it? So we can only evangelize to them and pray. Why is it that we can only evangelize and pray? Right, we cannot just draw the like that. Amen. Good. So John chapter 6, verses 65 says, And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man, as what Sister Harris said, cometh unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father. Amen. So we cannot just go and just tell and say, Listen to me, you need to come with me. It's the spirit that will be a person. And it's the spirit that makes, con and, uh, what should I say, conviction. It's the spirit of God that convicts a man to come unto Christ. Who should we target when we're evangelizing? Yes, the sinner will not be afraid to talk, you know. We should evangelize to the sinner. So our targets are, our targets are those that have not yet heard or have not yet accepted. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And that's taken from Luke chapter 19, verses 20. And the Bible said in Proverbs 11, 30, And he that winneth souls is wise. So only the wise will win souls. So you guys are wise because you want to win souls for the kingdom. I want somebody to read the mode of evangelism for me. And that's the course content. We shall take 20 minutes. So we'll soon finish. You say no? Let's continue. All right. So the course content is mode of evangelism. Who wants to read that for me? The mic. The mic. Remember, he's recurring so that you can get it to study. Mode of evangelism. Evangelism is the total commitment preaching within and outside of the church. The church is built with the purpose of bringing souls out to Christ. All right, that's right. So the mood of evangelism is evangelism is a total commitment. For us to be evangelists and for us to be good evangelists or great evangelists, we have to be totally committed. We have to commit to what we are about to do and we have to make time we have to preach within and outside of the church. Evangelists are mostly persons that go out with souls and bring them back into the churches. So the evangelists will now go out and spread the word to the nation, spread the word in the bad communities, as what Bishop said, going to Tivoli, going to Kingston, going to Rima, going to Jungle, and with souls and bring them into the church. And then the church has a role and the church plays a part in allowing those first to be convicted because when you evangelize don't expect that the soul will just come to your time persons will not just baptize immediately so the church now steps in and makes sure that they have new convert classes so that they can now win over that soul but before we can be good evangelists we have to have a prior life and this is where the enemy tries to attack us. Because the enemy knows that when we pray, then the Lord will do what? The Lord will deliver and God will show up. So look at your people. It says the importance of prayer in evangelism. And as we know that prayer is a solemn request for help or expression of thanks 